Hello and welcome to Unleashing System Verilog and EVM series of short videos. My name is James Chang. I am a senior staff instructor at Synopsys. In this series, my colleague Amish Oza and I will be showing you how to apply the power of System Verilog language and EVM methodology in building an efficient and reusable test bench. Each of the short video in this series will target one specific feature in System Verilog and UVM. In this episode, I'll give you an overview of what System Verilog and UVM are all about. How our designs are getting more complex. How do we manage the functional verification of these designs? OTO designs are typically done in Verilog or VHDL. Let's represent the design as a segment of a pipeline. The design is typically instantiated in a top-level module with supporting elements like clock generators. We then build a test environment where the input to the design are driven. And the output processed and checked. While trying to implement these required test bench components, we run into issues with VLOG and VHDL. How do we create and randomize stimulus? Check for functional correctness. Implement functional coverage. Verify protocol execution. Gather coverage information on protocol execution. And what about code reuse? Verilog and VHDL are simply not suitable for these verification needs. To overcome the deficiencies of Verilog and VHDL, design verification engineers turn to other languages for functional verification. For protocol verification, design engineers turn to yet another set of languages. With these languages, short-term needs of design verification were met, but long-term code reuse and code maintenance became a nightmare. This is where System Verilog comes into play. System Verilog is the first IEEE language that unifies RTL design and verification into a single language with features adopted from a wide variety of other well-understood languages. In addition to module, System Verilog added interface, assertion, class, randomization, and coverage into the language. Module is still what we use to implement RTO design and top-level test harness. The new interface mechanism gives us the ability to easily manage driving and sampling of signals. The System Verilog assertion simplifies how we do protocol check and coverage. Class in System Verilog moves design verification into the highly reusable world of object-oriented programming. With easy management of stimulus generation, randomization, and coverage. The test is then started in either a program block or module. But the story does not end here. Even though now we have a unified language, which gives us the capability to fully verify our design, it is still difficult to write the whole thing on our own, especially given the schedule pressure that we all live under. This is where UVM comes into play. To understand UVM, you first have to understand what UVM is not. UVM does not help you in protocol verification. You can easily buy off-the-shelf assertion IP for that purpose. UVM also does not help you in RTO design nor in the implementation of the harness support for the RTL. The traditional module is more than sufficient to accomplish those needs. UVM is focused in helping you putting together a functional verification with a set of coding guidelines. UVM calls for a well-defined test bench structure. For example, an agent in UVM is defined to be a collection of three components. Sequencer where stimulus generation is stored, driver for actively driving the RTO signals, and monitor for passively observing the activity of an interface and reconstructing the observed transaction to pass on to scoreboard and coverage. An agent represents an external functional block. It is independent of the device in the test. An example of an agent can be an external USB block or PCI block or EMBA, or any functional block that you want to emulate. The device and the test specific component of the test bench is called an environment. 
Within the environment, one will instantiate an agent for each interface, then add all the other device under test specific components like scoreboard and coverage. Stimulus generation is controlled in the test, and the observed transactions are self-tracked. To reduce the coding effort, UVM also provides you with a set of base library classes. Each distinct component within the test bench has a corresponding base class. All you have to do is customize each for your own needs. As mentioned earlier, an agent is interface specific. It is independent of the device in the test. The beauty of this approach is that the agent then becomes highly reusable across projects. One benefit of this reusability is that there are multiple vendors, including Synopsys, that sell standard agents as verification IPs. So one can simply buy an off-the-shelf VIP from a trusted vendor to shorten the verification development cycle. Many vendors also ship a set of predefined stimulus to help you get started with verifying your device under test. When fully adopted, the system verilog language gives you a unified language for design and verification. UVM goes a step further. UVM reduces your coding effort by providing you with a set of predefined library classes. UVM enables reuse through a well-defined standard structure, enabling a make-by choice in creating a test bench. In fact, in UVM, the entire environment at a block level can be reused. If the verification was done at a block level, when integrated, the entire environment from the block level can be reused as part of an integrated higher level environment. All that one needs to do is configure the internal agent and VIP as passive components, embed the integrated environment in the test, and start the test in a program or module. Unified language, reduce coding effort, High level of reuse. This is the power of System Verilog and UVM. So where do you go from here? This is how you can pace your journey into the System Verilog and UVM world. First, build a solid foundation in System Verilog. Then, become familiar with the UVM concepts. Finally, pick up debugging techniques from your coworkers and friends. Synopsis can help you in building a solid foundation with hands-on training. For verification, we have workshops for System Velo Test Bench, Assertion, and UVM. In North America, our full-time instructors have over 60 years of industry experience in design, verification, training, and participates in IEEE standard committees. We can also customize our offerings for your needs. For more information and to register for classes, please visit this website. This video is part of the series designed to give you an overview of what System Verilog and UVM are all about. Don't forget to watch the rest of the series. We're planning to release more videos in the coming month. Please give us your feedbacks and let us know what else you would like to learn in verification languages and methodology. Thank you for watching.